All right, guys, uh, so we're gonna kind of uh, demonstrate, I guess, our, our basically our road kit to go out and look in a, at and assess mobile homes. Uh, so let's just start with the basics here. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly one of the things you need is a, is a good camera. Uh, your, your smartphone can be used. I like to use a digital camera and a pole. A pole is obviously gonna be used to uh, take pictures of the roof and to get some good shots from uh, high up. Um, I, I always bring a uh, hammer and nails and with the, uh, the thought that well, I'm going to buy this home, and when I buy it, if it's empty, I put a nail on the door frame and I hang the keys. And most of the time, I never go back to that house again. Once I put that nail and hammer in, <laughs> we're good. It's like putting that final nail in the coffin. Yep. Uh, and then uh, duct tape for helping us uh, measure the homes. We'll use a 100-foot, I like to use a 100-foot tape. Uh, it'll cover every house. Uh, the longest home you'll see is about a 76 footer, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the wheel is a nice, quick way to measure a home, um, kind of depending on what phase you're in. And then uh, some nut drivers and some screwdrivers are helpful. A lot of times we use a nut driver to uh, get the panel, uh, the drywall off the, um, the cover that's covering up the hot water tank. So. It's pretty simple, you know, a pen and paper to take some notes about the home. Yep. You definitely want to grab yourself a good uh, flashlight because you're going to look under the home. And the, I, I like to bring my rubber mat. You can, you can use whatever you want. I, this happens to be something I had a, from my kid's uh, play uh, mat that he had when he was younger. Because when you're kneeling down, you're, you know, if you're on wet ground or snow, you're going to get, you're gonna get your, your knees pretty dirty. So I, I use that and then I look underneath the home for axles and hitch or to look underneath the home to see if there's any damage or um, you know insulation that is falling down or animals got in or or just debris that you'd be surprised what people store underneath these homes right. i mean i found lawn mowers um swimming, tubs swimming pools swimming pools yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. and uh, but that's really kind of the basic kit um yeah you want to bring your checkbook because you might yep. be writing a check to buy a home, uh, your purchase agreements, uh, and things yep. like that as well. Yep. So when we, Dan and I, go out uh, looking at homes, you know, this is what we're going to bring. It's pretty unsophisticated, it looks like, but it's, it's you know, the necessary tools. Um, just like if you were a carpenter, you'd have your saws and your, you know, all the different stuff you'd have. Um, this is, this, these are our unsophisticated uh, uh, products that we use to make tool, sure tools of the trade yeah tools of the trade